Okay, hello. Today I'm going to be making a video about this pedal steel lick that I call the California Stutter. Um, it's just a simple lick, but uh, something that I get a lot of use out of, and hopefully you will too. I'm calling it the California Stutter just because I wanted a name for it, and I hear Greg Lees and Sneaky Pete do it quite a bit. And those guys are from California, so that's the name. Um, before I show the video, I'll just say that you can hear this on a bunch of those guys' recordings, but the Linda Ronstadt version of Willen, um, Sneaky Pete does it a bunch. And then um, there's two songs you could check out for Greg Lee's doing it, Harmonia by Cass McCombs and a song called Chasin' Rainbows by Billy Bragg. Um, and that's it, I'll keep this one short and sweet, and uh, here we go, okay. Okay, so first of all, I don't have a way right now to get two cameras to be able to show the pedals and the top of the steel, but this is pretty simple as far as the pedals. Just uses the A and B pedals, so should be really straightforward and shouldn't need another camera. So I'll just say, first of all, as a reference point, normally with pedal steel, if you're sliding between two notes, you would want to practice getting that transition to be completely smooth. So we're going to do this in the key of D. And if you were to, say, play the third, moving to the fifth, that's an F sharp going to A. So that's no pedals at all. You want that to be completely smooth. There's no jump in the pitch at all. And then the next thing you would practice would be doing the same thing, but with the pedal down and releasing it on the way up. So even there, it's a really hard thing to do. I haven't played steel in a couple weeks because I've been overseas and you can tell that I'm uh, <laughs> having a bit of a hard time with it. So ideally you want that to be just as smooth as this. Now this California stutter lick, as I'm calling it, you do the exact opposite. You start and about maybe a whole step up two frets or so, you let go of the pedals really drastically. So the pitch is going up, takes a little jump down really suddenly, and then continues up. Um, I think it's a really cool sound. I don't know if it's a remnant initially of uh, the way the pedals worked on the uh, Fender 400 or 1000 or whatever it was that Sneaky Pete was playing, but people do it on a modern steel as well. Um, so it sounds something like this. I'll try and do it slow. I think it sounds a little funny slow, but uh, you can get the idea still. Here's really slow. So I was trying to exaggerate a little bit. Here's a more real life context. So that was with just one note. You can also do it with two notes. You can also do it with uh, two notes where only one of them is doing the skip, the stutter. Doesn't sound quite as dramatic. Um, yeah, so that's just A and B. Releasing about two frets up. You can do it with your bar hand too, which is how I used to do it. Let me try that again. We are kind of doing this. Um, before I realized what was going on, I did it like that, and that sounds nice too. So it kind of reminds me, to be honest, of uh, 
like a David Gilmore thing where he's bending and doing vibrato and using the uh, whammy bar at the same time. So yeah, I'll keep this nice and uh, short and uh, just leave it there. Hopefully this was useful to you. I think it's great because it's more of a move than a lick. It's really small and easy to add into anything you're already playing. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this and I'll see you next time.